Hi everyone, JDSB here. It's going to be a quick video on how to edit videos in HDR recorded via NVIDIA Shadowplay and being able to upload into YouTube and remain HDR. First things first, record some HDR gameplay using Shadowplay. That's what I'm doing right now, so it, it, everything's good. Second thing, open up DaVinci Resolve. You're going to want to set up the settings for DaVinci Resolve. You need to set the frame rate of the video you want to export before you import any clips. DaVinci Resolve is a bit backwards that way, and you cannot change the frame rate of the video post adding content. Within the color management tab, you want to set the color management to DaVinci YRGB color managed. You then want to set the, the preset to custom. You want to set the input color space to Rec 2020 scene. The input, the timeline color space to the same, Rec 2020 scene. The timeline working luminance to HDR 1000. The output color space to Rec 2020 STE 284 1000 nits. You then want to, you don't have to check, use 203 nits for reference content, but I do anyway. I don't know what difference it makes. Um, output color space is the same for the, the gamut clamp. The input DRT is luminance mapping. The output is also luminance mapping. And the apply real si resize transform in set to log. Um, set HDR mastering to a thousand nits. And that's it. You do not need to enable HDR 10. After that, add your content, choose whatever you want and make sure it's HDR. We can just use, let's use Forza Horizon. Um, we're not going to do any editing here. We're not doing any color ma management. This is just if you want to you know, get HDR footage, do a side by side comparison, just edit the clip up. So it's not just uh, one continuous recording. Deliver tab is the next place you're going to go after you've done your editing. Um, you want to obviously give it a name. You're going to be using the MP4 format, the H.265 in codec. I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so I only have the option for NVIDIA. If you're an AMD user, I don't know what this gives you. It might fall back to just CPU encoding. I don't have the option to choose CPU encoding, so it's, it's just NVIDIA for me. Turn on network optimization. Don't know what it does. Turn it on. Now, this is the second most important bit with your quality. You might think automatic best would just work. Sometimes it does, but I've had issues with hate with YouTube not picking up that the video is a HDR video despite it being HDR and other offline players on YouTube, it sees it as an SDR video. So if you just change it to restrict to, and I just leave it at the default 80,000 kilobits per second, um, this f for some reason changes a flag with how the file is saved and it saves it as a higher um, video file format. Um, if you leave it on automatic, it's saved as a 5.1. And if you leave it as, if you change it to restrict to 80,000, it changes it to 6.1. This one change seems to be the main thing that YouTube likes to pick up if it's a HDR or not content, depending on how long the video is. It's, it's very weird. Just do what I'm doing and it works. So here we are on my YouTube studio page. We have a bunch of test footage. Um, the most recent video I did was the exact same settings that I've told you just beforehand and the exact same delivering settings. Everything's the same. It's this side by side video comparison. If we were to open up into a new tab, YouTube picks up as HDR um, and all, all's good. If you, however, did not change on the deliver tab, the quality from automatic to restrict, the exact same video down here, for some reason, just isn't picked up as a HDR video. Uh, the only difference in the metadata effectively is the format of like the, the class format of the video. Everything else is the same. So if you're having issues with YouTube um, not picking up the content as HDR, make that one change. It's not always the case. As you can see by these four test clips, I have I thought maybe it was a difference between the frame rate. It's not. Um, I can open all these four up for you now. And they are all HDR videos every single one of them. So I'm not too sure what the issue is. Just set to restrict to 80,000 kilobits per second. It changes the flag. It should work most of the time. Nothing else really to add. Hopefully this has been useful to someone because I've been looking for this information for months. Um, so hopefully someone will make use of it. Any questions, leave them down below. Thanks for watching.